In 1619, the first 20 Africans came to Virginia as indentured servants. Soon after, white rulers realized an entire economy could be built upon the enslavement of black people. By 1800, over 13 million black people were brought to America, most of them in chains. They were not considered to be humans, they were property. Teaching blacks how to read was considered dangerous for the white rulers. Frederick Douglass's master said, if you teach that nigga how to read, there will be no keeping him. It would forever make him unfit to be a slave. In Savannah, anyone who would attempt to teach a slave or a free black person how to read would be fine. A black person doing the teaching could be thrown in jail and or whipped. As recently as 1960, Four college students sat down at a lunch counter and demanded to be served. Today, young black people can sit at the counter but can't read the menu. In 1963, Alabama Governor George C. Wallace vowed segregation forever and blocked the door at the University of Alabama to keep blacks from enrolling. Today, no one would be whipped or fined for teaching our children how to read. So please tell me, why do we see scores like this on the National Assessment of Education Progress? Wallace stood in the door to keep us out. Today, protectors of the status quo are standing in the door, keeping us in failing schools. That's why the Black Alliance for Educational Options was formed, because of our history and because of our present reality. We must offer better options for our children because together we can make a difference.